All right, the next item is 3K. 3K is to analyze payment days to identify favorable terms to suppliers. All right, so let's see if we are um, giving certain suppliers favorable terms as opposed to using a uniform analysis. So to do that, I am going to analyze uh, the H and the B. We're going to be using some uh, specific functions, uh, specifically the H and the between function to test um, the days that we are taking to pay some of our some of our vendors. All right, let's go into idea. And I'm going to go ahead and close this analysis real quick. And I will go ahead and activate accounts payable again. I could have just gone to data, but I like to just close it. Um, all right. So from here, I'm going to double click on the database window to load the manipulation dialog, right? So I'm going to go into my data and then I'm going to look at um, defining um, a, a pending, I'm sorry, a pending, a virtual field. So what virtual field is it going to be? It's a virtual numeric field and we're going to call this pay underscore days. Uh, and then it's not going to have any decimals. We're not going to have a, a length. And this will have a description of number of days to pay invoice. And the parameter, right, which is this particular formula, we will load the equation editor and enter the following function. Add, um, and this is going to be H which returns the number of days between two specified dates. Uh, both dates must be in idea date format, meaning YYY, MMDD as the format. Uh, either or both dates may be fields or, cons or constants. It can be used when auditing the efficiency or responsiveness of other department, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the syntax at H, date one minus date two. So we will look at the at H and inside we're gonna use pay date as one um that's that's one option and the next option would be invoice date so we're going to see how long it takes to pay an invoice and that's basically it we're gonna uh, press ok and exit uh, it was validated and then we're going to press ok to append the virtual field and now in the results we're going to see that some vendors have zero days some vendors have more days, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. From the properties window, let's look at field statistics. And then we're going to create that. And we can see that for pay days, um, the number, the minimum number of days is, let's see, where is the minimum value? Oh, here it is, negative six. So that means that we're paying some of those invoices ahead of time. Interesting. The invoice comes afterwards for whatever reason. That, sh that should be a red flag for us. Uh, there are six payments with um, value zero. And there is a maximum of 59 days exceeding the standard term. So the invoice date was... Um, paid I mean those invoices were paid 59 days after the due date and the average is 27 days according to our um, average value right here 27 all right that's basically uh, one of the properties to follow so now we can extract all payments outside of the policy range so let's make sure that we extract all payments made outside the company's stated policy of 25 to 35 days so in the analysis, and we can, we don't have to print screen. So let's go back to the analysis. I'm going to go back to the data and I'm going to do an extraction. I'm going to do a direct extraction of, I'm going to call this payments, payment days outside policy range. Boom. So let's do payment dates outside of policy range. And I'm going to define this to be um, at between. So let's look at the between function so I can know what it works like. So I'm going to 
look at a numeric value that falls within a specified range. And if the value being tested is greater than or equal to the lower limit and lesser than or equal to the upper limit, the value one is returned for true, right? Otherwise, zero is returned. So those that comply would have a one. Those that do not comply would have a zero. So let's take a look at between. And then we're looking at the pay days. Pay days. Let me get rid of this. This is twice. Pay days. And it's going to be between 25 days and 35 days. That is inclusive of the 25, right? Uh, if, But I want those that do not fall. Do not follow that model. So I'm going to add the not between pay days. So I'm going to look at those records, which pay days, the, the number of days that it took to pay an invoice does not follow between 25 and 35 days as prescribed by our policy. So having said that, I'm going to validate an exit, right? Um, and then I will go ahead and call this. I already said that I would call it. Um, and accept the false and all options to extract the records from the whole database. Make sure that it's all correct. Uh, and then I'm going to press OK. Now let's double click on the pay days field. Um, and let's go ahead and do a uh, data analysis, like data indexing. So for that, I will have to go to, hold on a quick second. All right, sorry, just trying to make sure that I am actually putting on, on the order that it wants. So the assignment asks for us to put it on the sending order. So if I double click on this, it's gonna be on a send. Look at these, these are transactions that are being paid early. And then these are transactions that are paid um, late. Not that many in total we have. Let me look at the field statistics real quick. I'm going to generate them. I have about 85 different records out of which um, some are going to be early and some are going to be late. Um, let's take a look at the value. About $3 million were um, paid outside of our normal range. So that is already a finding that we should be investigating. Um, I sh would want to group these by authorization and see if there's a pattern. Uh, why don't we just uh, do that real quick, uh, do a quick summary of this payments outside the range. Let me go back to the data. This is not asking us to do this, but this is a quick way of summarizing it, right? So anytime you do this, you could summarize it by, um, why don't we summarize it by uh, supplier number and then by by authorization, right? And then we will go ahead and do the pay days to see what's happening there. Uh, too much, too much. How about we do it by, um, well, let's now sort it. Sort it real quick. Let's double click on this. So you see that M130, not that many. Let me just do, uh, not the sum, this is incorrect. So this is not summarized correctly. Let me close it. Let me do another quick summary again for these. Um, the pay this should be the average. And let's just do it by supply number. And then by authorization. That seems like a lot. Let's not create a database. Um, just the average. Average pay day. Oh, we had a result called summarization. Okay. Um, Let me do it one more time. Uh, let me do a summarization. Let's just do it by a supplier number and then on pay days. Let's create a result and let's not use the 
the sun was used to our base. Um, actually, let's not. Let's create a database instead. And not the result. Boom. All right. So then we have uh, these CTO2s, which are being paid early. Most of them are the ones that are paid on average super early is M100. Again, that cash, the C202 and W007 are the ones that are paid the earliest. So let's take a look at those transactions real quick. Yeah, this cash stuff being organized by both VSD and HMV or HV are very suspicious. You know, immediately, immediately right after the invoice is created, they're getting authorized for quite a bit of money. Like, look at those transactions. This is this is really concerning to me. Uh, look at um, W07. We have, uh, again, those cash transactions being authorized by HMV and BSD immediately after the date. And then somehow Trevor Wills does never gets their, uh, actually, it's between 25 and 35 days. So some of them are early, some of them are, are late. So why are they here? Uh, oh, that's because we have W007. So notice how W007 is supposed to be Trevor Wells, but somehow they're using W007 with different amounts. So this should be a problem. And we should run another test for that as well, right? Uh, look at this, crooks are us. In fact, that is in fact true. Crooks are, are us indeed. Somebody is stealing this money. Um, all right. The next one would be um, 27th C202. Again, you see that it's supposed to be for charismatic, and these are following the right norm. But these transactions that are paid early as cash for us, cash crook, etc. I mean, it's very obvious that these are transactions that shouldn't be in there. So on average, that is, in fact, the case. And this summarization, by the way, uh, was should have been done out of this pay, paydays outside. Let me make sure that is correctly done again. Um, summarization of this, I must have had the other one. And then I would have done that supplier number and then paydays, um, average, and create a data set. Let's go ahead and do that again. And then I would do it by date. So then we have the M130, F132, et cetera. So anyway, this is quite a good exercise to determine this. All you needed to do was create this and print screen it for my purpose. Okay, thank you very much.